Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's nice to have you here whenever you watch this. Good morning, good evening, good day. We are taking a look at the expected value of Everfest. Everfest only exists in one edition, that is the first edition. Yet, there might be an unlimited edition, but we don't know. We are taking a look at what's inside, how much are the cards worth if you open one box on average, and then we take the card market low prices as the price reference. So, first things first, we're not here to talk about the weather, but finally we have some kind of summer feeling here in Germany. It's unusual because we are in the rainy latitude, ocean influenced climate zone where whenever you have two days of heat in the evening there's always a thunderstorm, but it didn't happen for the last days and it didn't done seem like this for the next day, so I'm sitting over here sweating. The thing about this is, as soon as the weather gets hot, the sales go down. It's not like everybody's on holidays and, you know, the hobby is on halt, but that's not the case right now. People are buying more than ever before and the prices are also going up. So, let's take a look at this. There's 303 boxes of Everfest available. The lowest price shipped is 76, rounded down. And last time, I put this up from last month, the price was 73 and there were more on the market. So, less boxes, price is a little bit higher. There's also still cases available, 291 for one case. I could also get this from Germany from a professional seller and I would still pay less than 300 and that's pretty much worth it. So if I sell magic, there it is. I still have some more magic boxes. I basically put on one each or sometimes two. If you want magic, if you want a better price, just write me. I'm just, I want to ditch those. And when I sell one of those, I'm going to put the next one in. So I'm going to sell 50% of my magic. But anyways, Everfest, we start with the Fabled. The Fabled, as you can see, well, it was hovering below 200 for the last months and then it went to 250 and now it suddenly jumped to 330 and there we are. 320 is the lowest price. I did write down these prices yesterday. So today it's Tuesday. I did this yesterday. The price was 325. Today's, today there's already someone undercutting that for 320. And um, yeah, well... He only has 11 sales. The ratings are good instead of outstanding. Or there is even a yellow star in between. That should be very good. Those three, I really don't regard those because they are from outside the European Union. Uh, United Kingdom and Switzerland. I can't even buy this one if I wanted to. So with import taxes, that would be too expensive. So... 320 is the new price, even though I have 325 on this list. But as you can see, the price increase is huge, and those five bucks really don't matter. Next outstanding sellers from the Netherlands, 325. And then we have what's interesting as well we have a PSA 9 on the market and a PSA 10. Well, that's not often for a, well, let's call it reasonable price, okay? compared to the card market low, which is half of that. PSA 10. Well, yes, PSA is not strict when it comes to grading. You probably get a, you might get a worse grade when you send it to other grading companies, but there is a PSA 10 for 200% of card market low, which I consider to be a good price. Also a PSA 9. That's a solid offer since you know, you are getting a, you know, a good copy. Okay, that's enough. Then those for 1,750, you can pretty much ignore those because the PSA 10 is the perfect one you should get before. Also, Sapphire Cards has listed another one for 450, which is a realistic sales price. It could go for that within the next months. And yeah, clever guy, just like me. Doesn't put all of them up for the lowest price. Anyways. I might, I have this one, I might try to grade this whenever premium card grading is starting in Germany. Okay, let's jump into this. I did sort these 
numbers. This is the expected value per box price. I did sort them by price, so I've taken the lowest. Whereas, of course, now the fabled, the grandeur of Valahai went up and should be on the next page. But anyways, Majestic Equipment, not much happening. The, uh, which are these? These are the rare cold foils. Yeah, they went down a bit. And the alternate art, extended arts, they went up a bit. And yes, the favorite went to 813 per box on average. And then on the left, on the left, left, little bit, next page, there's these. So we have Majestic Cold Foils at 625 in value in a box. The legendary is 653. We can jump over to this list because I highlight everything in green that went up 10%. Not much happening there. The majestic cold foils. Yes, they're going up throughout. Eight of them went up at least 10% and two euros. So majestic rainbow foils up. The majestic non foils. Now these are the just the majestic rainbow foils. I'm sorry. Majestic non equip my gosh non-foil non-equip just the regular majestics not the equipments they add 27 46 in value swing big this rounds on me there is still some very very strong cards in there and that's why the prices still go up this is the expected value for one box card market low prices prices taken yesterday it went up from 61.50 to 67.30. So, as you can see, 67.30 and you can get get one box for 76. The spread is not too high. You might open this for fun, for the chance to get one of those expensive cards. Especially, especially now, since the favorite is expensive again. It is exciting to open this. There's also Bravo going up again to 58. That has been at 200 at release. So um, I've, I have seen all these prices. And sadly, I only started this list uh, a little bit after release. So we don't have the pr full price graph. But it makes sense looking at this. Red Rain Razors here cooled down a bit. But the rest... There is a lot green here. There's a lot which, you know, big price increases, not just 10%. There's a lot of cards which went up more than 10%. Check this out. Revel and Runeblood, 18. And that is the non-fall variant. So, all in all, the price is very... This is... It's not time yet to release Unlimited if they have printed and if they think plan on releasing it. Um, it's still it's worth opening this. And I, I am getting those boxes this month when I sell these magic cases. Or boxes, I should say. That's it for now. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the weather. Or, well, I'm always thinking about this weather I see outside, but... Wherever you come from, you might not have good weather, but enjoy the hobby. I think tomorrow I'm going to be back with a, another video about the all of the fables. I might. Or expected value, but we shall see. I'm working on it today and then releasing it tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking your time. Uh, oh yeah, I still buy your collections, right? If you want to get rid of your old cards, I give you 8% off card market low. And you can shop in my inventory whatever you want. Or basically it's a trade. If the prices are not cool for you and you really want cash, I'm at 55%, which should be higher than most of the stores, which offer you 50%. Just write me an email, place it at gmx.de. And other than that, enjoy your day. Thanks, bye.